Hi everyone and welcome back to Carl's Place. In this video, we're gonna be talking about screen finishes. We've had this question come up a lot to our customer service team and we just wanna make a quick video uh, going through the differences and applications between these different finishes. So we have a couple sample screens here with the different finishes. We have a standard screen with the classic with flaps uh, finish. We have our preferred screen here with our classic with loop fasteners finish. And then on this premium screen, we have our classic finish. So starting off, we'll start with our classic finish. This finish um, is a vinyl edge, a sewn vinyl edge that has um, grommets sewn every about 12 inches. Um, it's two and a half inches wide itself. The grommets are mounting points um, for where you attach your bungees to the screen, to your frame. This classic finish is, is really the most basic finish that we offer at Carl's Place. Then moving on, we have the classic finish with loop fasteners. So the loop fasteners that we're talking about here are these hook and loop strips that are sewn in along the finish um, edge. They are not on the back side, only on the front. So the purpose of these hook and loop fasteners is really to add a mounting point to the screen to hide and cover these grommets and where they attach to your frame. So this is actually the same finish that we use in our pro enclosures. And so what normally covers this would be our safety cushions um, and they attach via hook and loop. Um, to the side of the screen here, which covers up the frame and the bungees. Whether you're attaching a curtain or your own safety cushions, some people attach nets, it's really whatever um, your custom situation or your, your plan uh, entails. It's important to take note that this um, strip here, if you can see it here, I'll hold it higher up to the screen. It's important to note that this strip here is the loop side of a hook and loop. So what that means is if, if you want this as a mounting point, you're gonna have to have the hook side of the hook and loop strip uh, to be able to fasten um, whatever you're looking to fasten to the screen. It's just an important thing to note when you're purchasing or building your setup. So moving on, we have the Classic with Flaps. Now, the Classic with Flaps is typically very similar with what we uh, sell with our DIY enclosure. So it's the same Classic finish, but with a sewn-in nylon flap, um, which also has the hook and loop strip on the very edge of it. It is, again, the loop strip, not the hook strip. So you will need to have a hook attachment to wherever you're uh, mounting this screen. So the purpose of these flaps is again, just another option to be able to hide those grommets and where they connect to your frame. So this would actually be the front of the screen. Um, not the best example here, but this would be the front of the screen as you pull these back and that would hide the mounting points to your frame. It's kind of a more built-in solution versus uh, this is more of a solution of someone who has, uh, has already planned out exactly what they're going to do with this mounting strip. Some people will put their own safety foam behind these um, kind of as their own uh, DIY solution to uh, creating a, a safety cushion. So it's important to note though, that wherever you're mounting your hook strip for the hook and loop, you'll really wanna make sure that that is going to be um, exactly where you need it to match up um, with this screen. So I'd even probably recommend that you wait until you have the screen to mount those strips. Um, so they end up exactly where you want them to be because you know if you have this because if you have this straight back versus you know up at an angle a little bit it'll affect where those strips need to be mounted to. So that's all we have today for this video on finishes. Please let us know in the comments below if you have any further questions. If you're still unsure on which of these finishes is going to be uh, best for your situation. Um, don't be afraid to reach out to our customer service team. Uh, you can chat or call with them. As always, please like this video and remember to subscribe to our channel for more content and tips on building your own golf simulator enclosure.